Hello, my wonderful people. Today reading is for Aries. I had just did it, but I was getting my cards together. And it was already on five minutes because here I was shuffling through them. So I, I'm sorry about that. And I'm going to see right now who else is on Aries' mind and who they need to be aware of, okay? And if this is your first time viewing my channel, thank you. And please hit subscribe. I need to help and I love you. And I appreciate you all. And I thank you all for subscribing last night, whoever you was. I love y'all and I appreciate you. And share with your buddies. It, it's greatly appreciated. But look here, and Taurus wanted to come out earlier. And Taurus, it just flipped on Taurus, and I was reading for Aries. So I know that a Taurus wants to talk to me. <laughs> and this is about your beliefs and, uh, you know, how you use the most direct way of, you know, getting your money, I guess. This is about how to maintain your resources, all right? And, and uh, you know, you got to be productive. You got to be productive every day. And so, some Taurus wants to talk talk to you also. And it could be a Taurus, Aries, Taurus, Cusper. Oh, and, and a Pisces, because we got the 12th house here, and that's seeking oneness with all there is. Yeah, philanthropy. Keep and somebody might be keeping something hidden from you out there and me. Somebody's keeping something hidden from us. And this is about your faith and hidden tendencies that's inside of all of us. We, you know, and that's about clear clear cleaning all that up. And if you got some emotions, well you need to spill it, baby. Spill the truth. <laughs> the the truth will set you free. Oh, and then this is about your north node and you know, because if you're living in your north, north node, that's how you'll, that's when you'll be a success. That's if you, if you, you know, when I die, I want to be in my north node. I'll put it that way. And this is about having faith in, you know, spirituality, religion, whatever it is y'all got faith in. Two twelve, I just saw, but you know, it's telling you not to worry about certain things. And now is the time. To get this stuff going, baby, Aries. Now's the time to do it, okay? What else? And if you're Aries, please hit subscribe. I need the help, and I love you, and I thank you. Oh, and it's saying stir up the situation by using a different way. And, you know, you're honest. This is my energy. I'm an Aquarius. We, we do things a different way. We're, we're inventors also. Mm-hmm. But we got new ideas, and we're an unusual example of showing woo, <laughs> our ideas. So, Aries, you got a Taurus, or that's just your energy showing up if you're a cusper, like I said. I thought a card came out. Did y'all hear it? Well, it didn't, because I don't know what went. What else do we need to know? Oh, Aries, you come out. Uh, you know, this is about using your willpower to get the job done, Aries. You know, what do you think and know about it? You know, maybe you need to tell your person. You know, you need to tell them something. And do it your own way. Do it your way. And, you know, energies to meet the challenge. Oh, it's telling you, bring the, the heated energy with you, Aries. Because this is about your desires and resulting from the honesty and strength of you, Aries. You got to tell your honesty and truth, okay? So, it's about a Taurus, a Pisces, or keeping shit hidden. And you need to get in your north node, Aries, and Taurus Cusper. And this is about an Aquarius and your energies again, okay? That's what it's about, all right? All righty, all righty then. Now, what it about? Spirit, can we have... No, I'm not doing them. Well, I just did them. Hang on, y'all. Don't get mad, you guys. Don't y'all get mad at me now. I want to give y'all good reading. Okay? I'm going to use these for you all. And I'm going to move these little cards and get them out of the way because these are big. And I'll leave them right there so I don't forget who it was. All right? Or when I title my video. All right, Aries? Spirit, can we have a message to give to this Aries, please, and thank you, and we appreciate you much. Oh, Aries, there's a shapeshifter king around you. Yeah, that, you know, and this is skill at navigating through different levels of your consciousness. Maybe you're learning how to do that, Aries, you know, and this is ability to see the potential in everything, and hey, 
that's how I like living. You, you got to see what's good in everybody. Don't judge a book by its cover, okay, Aries? Oh, and you are you shape-shifting into a king, Aries? Ooh, because, you know, you are divine masculine, and maybe you're like me, and you've linked back your lineage to Bible times. Ooh, and you're powerful. Do you know how powerful you are if you did that? Oh, gosh. You're powerful, and you need to be powerful and hit subscribe and like for me. <laughs> All right, but you you got enlightened to this benevolent leadership that's within you, and you're benefiting those in your charge, and you're coming after what you want. Oh, gosh, and that's how you need to do. What else? What's king? Oh, king. Oh, king said he wants to be a good Samaritan, and this refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So... You know, King, you know, you prefer to help these, you, you prefer to ignore some of these people, and I hear, yeah, I'm like you too, but hell, you got to, you know, and because some, you, you'll, you'll be praised for it one day, let's put it like that, you'll, you'll be rewarded here on earth, I think, don't worry for helping others that you'd prefer not to, and you know why, because they're bullies, uh, and no, none of us wants to help people like that but but we have to you know and somebody might be scared because they've been physically abused and it's all right i mean i've had this happen to me i mean I'm, well, I'm not in that energy anymore and i want people to be aware that i'm not all right nothing like it happens um and whenever that was going on we was doing a lot of drugs i'm not gonna lie and i don't own drugs anymore and i thank you and i thank you my son that passed away this is from his funeral and he helped me with that, you know. And But, you know, maybe you was sounding intimidating to people. And I know you don't want to help them, but that's the only way that, that we'll grow. And, oh, somebody sees you as a hedonist. Oh, gosh, they want to feed you some grapes like sexy. Woo-hoo-hoo. Do you all think somebody's pretty out there, Aries? Oh, this inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life and celebrates the beauty in yourself and eat you some grapes, it's saying, okay? Somebody needs to eat us some grapes out there. I believe that's what it says. Oh, and some a rescuer upside down uh, assumes that the rescued will reciprocate, keeps the rescued one needy. So someone, some, this hedonist, Aries, um... I believe it's a woman around you, Aries, that wants you to keep needing her. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. See, it is. All right, what else? Oh, martyr. You know, you're learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or your cause, 808-809. Yeah, you need to worry about yourself, you know, and, and tell that hedonist. To just shut the hell up. You're going to worry about clear, cleaning up your inside and, you know, focusing on your healing and yourself, what you like to do. And and that's how you need to be. Because I bet she sure does whatever the hell she wants, you know. I bet so. Oh, and then we got mediator. We got mediator and we got healer, you know. And this is a... Uh, you. You have a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life and respect for both sides of an argument. Argument, Okay? And, and that's good. You you need to have somebody like that in your life. And if you're that person that does that, I hear you on that, Aries, because I've had to be like that my whole life. Had to mediate situations, okay? So I hear you on that. Hang on a second. And then we got healer. And, you know, you got a passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. Mm -hmm. But don't get in that shadow energy and take advantage of those who need your help. You know, even if you prefer not to help them, don't, do, don't get in that energy. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Look at this, Aries. Don't doubt what you have, what you are, okay? You're an eternal child of God, okay? And, you know, you're just determined to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. You know, you got the ability to see things with fresh, glowing eyes. Because you got Messiah energy, serving humanity with humility, 
Maybe you're like me in Aquarius. I I love sir. I, I I'm made to serve humanity. That's what we're meant for. And you are like me, Aries, because that's us card. Take a leap of faith, fool. Yeah. Just don't take a leap of faith and do foolish stuff. You know, not foolish stuff. Do stuff that will help you to grow. All right. Yeah. That's that's how we need to live. I promise. All right. Hang on. We'll more read y'all. Deezons. Deezons. No, I'm going to read these. I like these cards. Because I, I, I can read a story with them better. Let me go ahead and do this real quickly. Real, really, really quickly. Yo, yo, yo. Can you help us? What about what shapeshifter want to tell us? Shapeshifter wants to say, uh, shapeshifter is going the wrong direction at the moment, and and but they got lack of direct direction, and they're procrastinating for their spirit on their spiritual path. And I advise you, Aries, Leo, or Sag, you better get out of that. And you better not procrastinate. If you if you know you're made for spiritual and you've been seeing signs, synchronicities, you better you better go towards it. I'm telling you, because it's trying to teach you something. And then here we got for King King. You got you might have travel issues at the moment, um, and you you might be mad and pissed off about it and doubting yourself and when you doubt yourself nothing's ever gonna come about have y'all figured that out yet you can't doubt yourself aries you can't do that and you you know you may have a lack of focus or willpower and you and you need to stop that because you're divine masculine that's your card do you understand you got the down willpower to do anything you want oh and then we got three of cups here this is about your friendship so maybe Maybe you'll feel out of control if you get around a certain friend because you think she's pretty or he's sexy. Well, it's all right because you're all going to have support and happiness in the community and you're going to be celebrating together. Woo! Uh, what about Samaritan needs to know? Samaritan, what well, well, we want to tell Samaritan today, Spirit? What's Samaritan need to know? Samaritan need to know three of pentacles and... Four cups. You you got a sudden awareness um, about helping those that you didn't want to, and you're choosing happiness, and you're accepting that you got to help even the people you didn't want to, <laughs> especially if you're doing a practice like this. And that's okay because this is about teamwork. Maybe somebody's, uh, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is wanting to collaborate with you. Ooh, and it's telling you to implement. Things maybe that you've learned from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn into your daily routine or your job that you do. And what about Bully? Bully said two come out upside down. Two of them, nine of ones and king of swords. Bully, they sum down a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That is a man but it don't have to be. It's just that energy. And it's in the reverse. And they some manipulative, cruel, weak bully around you and you're needing to tell this person to quit abusing their power and quit acting like they they can do something you know uh because they're 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 pissing you off evidently and and you're gonna have to tell this bully to get the fuck away from you all right oh and then but you're exhausted because hell they've been shape-shifting is why they shape-shift they're happy one minute and then the next minute they're an asshole and you know you're fatigued in this struggle, and you're and you might be experiencing paranoia, or you might just be smoking your big doobie, and you get paranoia. What about Hadonis? Hadonis had two upside down. Oh, she's moody and disappointed and in heartbreak. She's in heartbreak and she's sad and jealous of you, Aries. This woman that you that you're in a relationship with is sad and mad at you. They're disappointed in you. Oh, oh, it could be because you found out that she was did infidelity in your all's relationship. And maybe you all, you're separated from her, you know. And 
you're feeling a uh, loss of balance at the moment or something. But she was possessive and controlling and did things impulsively, okay? The lovers upside down, knight of cups upside down, and king of wands upside down. That's that energy, okay? And what about rescuer? Rescue Rangers, Ch -ch Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers. <laughs> 15, 15, you remember that show? I do. Four of Pentacles. Uh, uh, whoever this is that's wanting to keep you needy or whatever it is, um, the, they're, they could be messing with your security. You better pay attention to your bank statements and stuff, IRAs. Uh, and you you maybe you need to show a little conservatism at the moment and restraint and control in your finances, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. Because I tell you right now, it cost my husband two hundred dollars to drive to work just for the gas. Yeah, because our sons, you know, most time they ain't got gas money, so it's all on us. Well, where do you think that money's come from? Our freaking savings. Yeah. Oh, and here we got martyr right here and. This martyr is feeling uninspired and they don't feel motivated to to go after, to focus on their self and their cause. Well, how are you ever going to be better? You can't. What about mediator? Gift for negotiating fairness. Oh, mediator, you need to stop being disorganized in your life, okay? Because it's overwhelming you and maybe you got too many commitments, at the moment. I think that's what it is. You got way too many dang gone commitments. Looks like a bunch of these cards is upside down. I can't help it, you all. What about healer? Healer. Healer. Oh, healer. You better watch, healer. Uh, because somebody's wanting to ruin your name. Somebody is wanting to... Somebody's saying you're a total disgrace. Well, what about that? They don't know what the hell they're talking about, do they? What about eternal child of God? Oh, eternal child of God. Somebody is being dishonest to you. And uh, they're deceitful. And it could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles, Wish Fulfillment Upside Down, and they're just cheap. They're cheap and freaking reckless. And they're reckless because it's a greedy devil Envy, jealousy, douchey devil. That's what it is. 1733, I just saw. Yeah, that's what it is. And what about Messiah? What does Messiah need to say to Aries today? What about Messiah? We got Six of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. And this Messiah, you're, you're uh, very wealthy. You know, this is Six of Pentacles. Maybe you're thinking about uh, sharing your assets with someone else. Maybe you're starting to, you're in love with somebody and might be wanting to marry them. I don't know, but this is about, you know, giving and receiving equally. You need a partner that does that with you in charity uh, because you got a, the ambition and desire to manifest this financial opportunity. Okay, Messiah? Yes, you have that in you, Messiah. So reading it like this, yes, it says... To me it's saying you got lack of direction you need to choose a spiritual path and stop having self-doubt and lack of control in your emotions you know you gotta heal that on the inside and you need to get you some rose quartz rose quartz okay and wire it and put it under your pillow and wire it in your pocket all right but you got uh you got self-doubt about a friendship or someone in your community, and you finally got a sudden awareness that this friendship is bringing you happiness, and, and they're accepting of you, Aries. And y'all need to teamwork and collaborate and come together for the good of all, I guess, you know. But someone is manipulative and cruel around you, and, and you're feeling exhausted and fatigued. Yeah, you are probably, and, and you're struggling to come towards this person that you need to because you think that they'll be defensive and they're not they won't be okay what but they could i don't know i don't really don't know your situation and don't take everything to heart okay it's just reading but you know uh you you need to get out of that moodiness and heartbreak and sadness and that separation feeling and disharmony 
and you know buckle down and, and be conservative with your money at the mo mo at the moment show control and restraint on it because um you know because you you have lack of passion you're uninspired and it's because you're disorganized you need to get your house and life in order and stop being disorganized and over committed to people and places and things that ain't to you and because somebody wants to totally ruin you, you know, disaster, destruction, because they've been lying to you and doing things recklessly, or, or somebody thinks that you're cheap and and that you got the addictions on you and you're greedy, and but you got the ambition and desire to go to manifest this life you want, and and you're a person that knows how to share. And give equally, you know, because you're a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Woo! Peace. I love you. Remember, hit subscribe. Okay, what else? Let me read you one of my little messages, remember? Spirit, can we get a message for this Aries Be so they can have a message today? All right. It says, someone has a warrant out for their arrest over trying to have you murdered, attacked, or r word. Just because you're a chosen one. Now, Aries, that's somebody around you. They did that too. Okay. And and they could have sent it from this group of people is in a large institution that doesn't agree with spiritualists. So they target you and send people to follow you around. Okay, that's what they did. They they sent people around you. Wait a minute. This can come out too. And whoever this is, this damn person needs to realize that divine beings, we don't give two damn shits what y'all run and say about us. And, and y'all go to jail. Ain't that what you say, Aries? Yeah. It's all right. They'll go to jail. What else does Aries need to know? Aries, someone is in fear of dying, and this person needs their partner to die with them. Huh. Somebody might be dying around you, Aries, and they want their partner to die with them. I don't know what spirit just told me to write that card, and I did. And drama is all these karmics is known for, it said, okay? What else do we need to know? Oh, but Aries, listen, honey. Look here, honey. Angels is watching over you in this whole endeavor, and they sit and watch you at night for your protection. Look how pretty she is. Ain't she pretty? And she said, this angel, she said, we know how to return it all to sender. I do it for all of us here. Don't worry. I do it daily, Okay. Well, I know how to return all that damn magic back that they send towards us. This big institution group that does this to us business owners. And they some guy that feels trapped in a loveless relationship around you, Aries, and they're sad. They they don't want to be in this loveless relationship anymore. What else? Or it could be you. And it could be that you know that this person is a gold digger and they don't realize or see your value okay they just want your money i don't know but they love to trick you and deceive you and now that you left them they're figuring out how can they trick you again and you're like me we're like no 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 more tricks no what else do we need to know oh an aunt of yours could be involved in a situation and you didn't even know it auntie b auntie b could be seeing bumblebees a lot and Aries, there may be a woman that wants to be intimate with you at the moment. Mwah! She wants to give you a big kiss, see? <laughs> what else? What about over here for Messiah? Messiah. Messiah right here. I'm not taking that one. Messiah said they ain't never saw how high-vibing beings work with problems. We find the truth. That's what Messiah energy does. Yeah. We find the truth. We sniff it. And you can't place bets on a divine being because you'll lose every time. See? Divine beings win. So they bet it on us to do, to do something, Aries. Yeah, they did. They bet it on you to do something same as they did me. That's why I said us, okay? But... Somebody's got a worn out because they tried to uh, send somebody to rape us or put us in sex slavery or something, 24-24. But somebody hooks up with their ex and they claim to be going out with their buddies, but they're sleeping with their ex is what is happening. They're, they got a hook, line, and sinker if it's ex. Huh? Well, ain't that good to know. Huh? What about cult? This group of cult people? Uh, they're on their way to jail. 
uh, because they didn't know that you can't harm a chosen one. You can't harm one. We're highly protected, so we don't care. We we hate you too, people. We just don't tell y'all. Uh, you're going to jail. <laughs> what about this person's partner wants to die with them? There's a positive change coming to you, and karma is working in your life and in your favor at the moment. Woo, woo. Somebody might be getting ready to die since that come out. I don't know. But we're getting good karma. And drama, as always, karmix is known for. You and this person are made for each other. You mesh well with each other's energy. And the sex is off the charts, or it's going to be, okay? And it could be with the karmic. That's why it's so good. <laughs> uh, what about angels are watching and protecting you? She, she was on the outside looking in on life she knew nothing about. This angel is coming to help you, and she's watching over you. No, don't read that, like, on the outside looking in. She's just watching over you is what that's saying. And, again, she wants you to know that, Aries, so be grateful for that. And what about return to sender every time? Return to sender. Uh, and you have to take control of how you respond to people in harsh situations and talk in a cool, calm, and collected type of way. That's how we, we learn how to return it back. And business owner, you started fighting for yourself now. And that's wonderful. And sad man, you may need to cut out the people that you used to party with. So you can come together with your twin and quit puff, puff, and pacing all the time. Okay? What about this person is a gold digger? Yeah, and dark energy is being sent to you from this dark being. And a dark spiritualist in a tarot community. Huh? They're a gold digger. Somebody in the tarot community is. And what about they love to trick and deceive you? No, no tricks. These group of women hate you simply because you're pretty, wise, and speak your opinion. And you go after your dreams. They hate you for that. And what about Auntie B? She's probably one of them too. Oh, Aunt B, Auntie B, right here. What's Auntie B want to say? Auntie B didn't realize that you are an earth angel, a star seed, and you have a greater purpose. She don't, They don't know nothing about this because they're religious. Okay, and there may be a woman that wants to be intimate with you, and she probably done went through a kundalini awakening, you know, and this is where <coughs> this energy rests like a coiled serpent at the base of your spine, and dormant energy fr flows freely upward through the seven chakra energy centers and leads to an expanded state of consciousness. Ooh, she wants to feel that with you, Aries. And Messiah, we, they never saw how high vibe beings work because we're divine beings. What, what do we want to say to divine beings? Oh, we want to say somebody is saying, who the heck are you all to try and tell us how to live our life? We just live in a light energy. Yep. Yeah. And somebody just wants what we have and they see us as wealthy in the physical and in the spiritual but it's telling you use your discernment with this person I always use your discernment cause they could just be trying to take something from you buddy baby honey pie sugar bunny bunches can we have one of those spiritual messages I wrote yesterday we have another one and somebody could have put a tracking device on your vehicle Aries be aware of that because God made you chosen from birth. That's why. And maybe you're feeling somebody's distorted energy around you. And it's a dark demon. And they wanted you to stay depressed. That's what it was. Yeah. But remember, you're highly protected by the divine. By these six winged beings that's got eyeballs everywhere. Like Hellboy. I told you, watch Hellboy and you'll see it. And remember, banana gang gang, they just want to come and give you their banana because they know that 1111 symbolizes two twin souls blending together in union. And pay attention to the signs of the universe, Aries. Pay attention, 2911, I just saw. And don't let people just come bang you. They don't just have to be penis. That can be cooter cooters, too, just coming to take shit from you and trying to rob you. Well, I love y'all, and I hope this helps, and I appreciate you. And please hit subscribe in 2929 11, 11 Twin Flame. I know I got one, and I love him, and I appreciate him. Oh, and we're like this. We're going to be like this. Oh, and I love y'all, and I'll peace, and I'll see you later. Oh, yeah, and today is June the 10th. Oh, yeah, see.